Hey, welcome back. This is MDog, and we are doing our experimental leveling guide, uh, which has just been all over the place, but very fun, at least for me. Um, here we are on uh, Salty MDog, which we are still level 20, although I will say, as I'm, first of all, let me talk about where we're fishing. So on, <clears throat> on my main account, you'll see that I am casting out here at 5387 on mosquito we're using size four hooks uh, mixture of carp braid versus fluorocarbon uh, these are our very nice picker rod setups we're going nine meters out on the clip here with crucian gibble ground bait and um, night crawlers for bait so we're going to get all these cast out um, so we, the other day, you may have been there for the stream. I actually did some tench fishing on my main account primarily, but on my, on our, on our salty M dog account, we did a little bit of tench fishing, just helping to test spots. So that's the only thing that has changed is that we made a little bit of silver that day. So we're up to 826, 26 silver and almost level 21, although I don't think we got that much experience primarily because of what we're fishing for. So we're gonna go right down to the same spot here on the alt account. Um, ooh, you love to see the Chinese sleeper. Um, and just kind of do some comparative fishing here. That's a good fish because I think there is a perch cafe order actually. All right, let's just see if we can get our rods in the water here real quick, at least one or two of them while we're catching fish over there. Um, okay, so like I said, we want to go with Crucian Gibble ground bait and we really want to use, we're using size four hooks and night crawlers. Which as you may know, there's been a lot of night crawler fishing lately. here at Mosquito because a lot of people are trying to get their trophy card complete. And one of the things that people have seen lately is that uh, trophy perch has been available on uh, Nightcrawler, which has been nice. So I guess on this one, we'll do a carp hook, just so we can keep it the same size. And uh, yeah, that should be good. So you can already see just the bite rate on the main account at least has been in intense over here. Um, now, I am going to move back to winding here um, for the evening, I do believe, even though we probably could trophy Crucian, maybe a Gibble, it looks like night uh, sleep, Chinese sleepers are around, um, just a lot of bycatch in this spot probably, but I do want to go to winding. I've had, had had so much fun when we had been doing our... Um, dual account last time on the Donitz rough spots. So we will do that again. So hopefully we will at least make a little bit of silver here during the day. Trying to get some silent. I'm 
bite alarms here. So it must be a pretty healthy Chinese sleeper spot. And the reason why I say that is that we still call it a Chinese sleeper, even though it's, you know, 150 just about in the afternoon. So, all right. Yeah, I mean, you expect this is going to slow down some now that we're in the afternoon, especially with such big hooks on there. But we will see. Between the two accounts, hopefully we'll still get to see a few fish before it's time to switch over. to Donuts. And I guess the truth is, if we're gonna really get the full night of fishing in at Donuts, we probably ought to switch over fairly soon. So, not always a readily available bait in terms of night crawlers, we were using a lot of algae the other day, which is why I um, had the scoop in instead of the shovel. Uh, let's see. I'm not even sure if night crawlers are available at Mosquito right now with how many people are fishing with them. I bet they're not. Nope. Unless you want to get 1,500 of them, they're not. Now, at other places, they probably are available. But because everyone has been fishing for trophy perch uh, here at Mosquito, they are not available currently. So, I got my trophy perch on a Maggot 4001, which is a jig setup. Um, but lately, plenty of trophy perch have been coming out on Nightcrawlers, which is why you see... So many spots and information about, man, you've got to be careful in this spot. So almost what you want to do so that that doesn't happen is set up your rod pod just as far up as you can so that you remember to be, to have a good angle. The other thing you could do is move the boat out of the way, but that would require obviously getting a boat ticket. But just be careful, if that fish gets caught on the boat, you can snap your line. All of a sudden it feels like you have a whale on there. But if you kind of gently come over that side, you should be fine. Yeah, very slow, very slow during the day. I was just trying to find something that would be interesting to do until until it was closer to Donut's time.
All right, let's just check the cafe, just to make sure. See if I can be talked into staying for any length of time. And all these would eventually get there. All three of these would eventually get there. But that's pretty much it. And, and the only one that's a little, I mean, that perch one is so easy in this spot, but probably not worth it for the silver to miss out on a full night. At, I guess we're going to go to 102, 112 and see how good that spot still is at winding. But it would be interesting to sit here It would be interesting to sit here all night, try to just like catch a few trophies on the two accounts. Um, so maybe next time we'll see, I don't know. Kind of seeing how the spot's doing, even during the like worst part of the day, it's actually been pretty good, so. All right, so let's go ahead and get this account set up at winding. And All right, so we're going to 1 2 1 12 10 meter clip nine ten meter clip something like that of course we're going back to uh red worms and no ground bait So this is the spot where we used to go at an angle. Now we're thinking maybe more straight. And let's go 24. I'm actually going to go 24, 22, 20 from left to right. And I'll probably do that on both. Honestly, did I change the clip on that? I'm actually not sure. Actually, on my main account, I may go 22, 20, 20. Uh, really just try to like sit on that trophy, get lucky on the trophy. All right. Yeah, then so this spot's starting to pick back up because of the time of day. It's a good spot, but I think I just want to go ahead and See how we do at winding. We'll just sell these fish at winding. Uh, 
That's an early rough, by the way. All right, so 27 silver on the main account, probably like maybe 10 silver on the alt account. We could get river muscle. We could get enough rough. White bream, hopefully, is still there. River muscle, uh, yeah, river muscle, oh, zebra muscle, still a possibility, I would think. Now, somebody caught a uh, random trophy Donnett's Rough right at the spawn. But I think I want to try this spot again, 102.12 on both, because I just want to know, is it still, like, producing tons of white bream? And, like, before, on average, I would say three to four trophy, I mean, not trophy, three to four Donnett's Rough a night, at least on my main account. So let's see if that's still the case. All right, so we're gonna go. Twenty-two. Does that say I have twenty red worms left? Wait, no, we want to go 20 on this one. Holy cow. I'm not sure I can dig fast enough for that issue. I must have... I must have sent more than I intended. I don't know what happened. We're going to probably need to go see before it gets too late. All right, there's a white bream, so potentially they're still here which would be good. We probably need to go see if they have any at this store, honestly. Okay, Don, it's rough. They, can't, they seem to still be here. Man, I need to get back to my rods. We need to get back to our rods. Even if I have to get the second category of them. Oh, they're still here. 83, 143. Okay. Let's go. Middle rod is catching the rough and the Donnett's rough so far. All right, where are we? Here we are. All right, let's see what we have going on here. White bream. We actually should do, I mean, potentially a little better on the alt account than the main account because because of having you know two size 20 hooks it's going to slow down some of the 
rough and Don it's rough and um, may even slow down white bream but probably not too much on the white bream little random gudgeon but notice that was on a the 24 hook Ooh, Volgazander that's weird that's something we were seeing down at camp not used to seeing it up this far though Okay, so something, something swimming upstream. Wow, it's a decent eyed. Is there a certain time that tench bite? Somebody's asking in our in-game chat. If you want to join our in-game chat, just search for my dogs, M-Y space D-A-W-G-S. Or if you just search for M-Dog, it'll come out that come up that way too. There's not necessarily a time that tench bite. There's a time that tench are more likely to be active, I would say, and that would be early in the morning to mid morning and then in the evening before overnight hours. Tench tend to be streaky though. So if they're active, they'll sort of come through in bunches, but they don't typically, you don't typically see a real consistent bite rate on tench. Unless it's a really healthy spot. So like in comparison to bream or something like that, where if you have a really active bream spot, you're going to catch one after the other. Not usually the case with tench. It's more like their permanent bycatch. Well, this is what we want to see. Healthy white bream. Yeah, so I sent 90 red worms. But I'm surprised I didn't still have a bunch left. I guess we used a lot of red worms. Um recently so maybe that's part of it too but it's weird wide eye bream not something you see a lot of especially here you really don't see even see them that much at volkov but certainly not here all right that's weird Trophy gudgeon, huh? 22 hook. On red worm. Thank you, everyone in in-game chat. Ooh, there was supposed to be a fish on there. Too bad that wasn't on our salty M dog. Nice little, nice little bunch of silver. For the, for the trophy. Oh, 
102 grams. What's the largest, uh, largest gudgeon we've ever had? 185. Right here at winding on red worm. So 83 grams heavier than that one. So we've only seen the one Donitz rough and that came in on the alt account actually. And it was pretty early on, like right at 1900, I believe. It's kind of interesting. Pretty nice looking roach. Oof. Another Donitz rough. And this on the size 20 hook. So if the alt account ends up doing better on Donitz rough than the main account, obviously RNG could have played a, the main part in that. However, the one thing I'll say is we do have smaller leaders on the alt account, 4.4 fluorocarbon, where over here we're using 6.2 fluorocarbon and then the other two are these 6.8 um, carp leaders. Nice white bream. We are really close to hitting level 21 over there on Salty. Nice white bream. And we hit 46% in bottom fishing. Another wide eye bream, which is weird. Still not a marker. Oh, wait. Do we now have a wide eye bream on each account? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. I was thinking they were both on the main, but that was the first one was on the alt account. Very healthy bite rate for both accounts in this spot. Zebra mussel, don't think that was big enough for the cafe order, but we'll confirm. 38 grams, not a marker, I don't think it's big enough.
somebody just caught a uh, global weekly record down at Truff, which kind of makes you sad to see. Although hopeful too, maybe. There's a dace. That's always interesting. Two days in a row, huh? Every once in a while, I'll just need to check, make sure you don't have a random small fish on that's not setting off your rod, your rod alert. Trophy squid? Wow. Grats, Ashara. There's a burbot. That's one thing that we'll be ready for with the larger leaders. Won't hurt quite as much as it will on the alt account. Is there anything that we need to nope?
Okay. So how are we doing here? I mean, overall pretty good because we've gotten two Donuts Rough on the alt account, right? Other than that, mm, just okay. Over here, I mean, I don't remember if there's a rough order, but we've certainly gotten some rough. And then that Gudgeon Trophy, but not as good overall in terms of not having any Donuts Rough. Night's not over yet, but that's where it's looking like right now. Trying to dig pretty regularly on both accounts. Just saves a little silver here and there, although if we keep doing this, we're going to still be buying a lot of red worms. At least two of those Donuts Rough have been have been on the size 20 hook as well. So the only difference is the leader. Maybe on the Maybe on the main account, I'll start going with, although there's one, start going with a little bit smaller leaders and fluorocarbon for this. I don't know. We'll see. I do think people, somebody was telling us yesterday in chat during our, during my stream that they got hit with a pretty big burbot in this spot. So that can happen. I've been pretty fortunate. All the bur burbot I've caught have been very small. There's another Donitz Rough. 
And that's four. And I think they're all, at least three, if not four, were all from that far right li uh, line, which is the one with the size 20 hook. And obviously it's cast far the farthest to the right. Huh. All the wrong trophies. Well, we've had two trophies, chat. There's another Donut Ruff. We're going to level up on a Donut Ruff if we catch any more. That one was on the middle rod, right? Wasn't even paying attention. Hey, a marker wide eye bream. Nace is the place. Somebody in chat was asking which one we would recommend for starting marine fishing, Ocean Queen. Can't believe I forgot to cast that back out. Come on, big money, big money. Eh, that's not big money. Okay, that's a nice river muscle, and we leveled up another point in bottom fishing. And we are, at this point, we're going to 
we don't level up here in this spot, we'll level up on bleak if we go catch some more bleak again, which I think I want to do just on my alt account, just on salty. Just fun to catch some bleak. Nice white bream, but let's sit here till at least 8, 8.30 maybe. Unless unless we get a random donuts right at that time. And then we'll sit a little longer. Another white, nice white bream. If I could hit those kind of white breams consistently on the alt account, that would be pretty sick. I feel like we only get the high percentage of fat ones though on the main account. Oh shoot. Well, it's probably, I don't know what that was. Maybe a muscle. I mean, it ran up upstream so fast. Olga Xander again. Level 21 on a 90, 91 gram day, so we'll take that. <clears throat> By the way, we have seven points still to play with. Not sure what we're going to do with them just yet. Another big gudgeon. rough Ooh, really big gudgeon so it's not equal but the alt account salty has not done a bad job keeping up with total fish we're at 63 and Salty's at 55. So not bad. There's a white green. All right, I think, oh, never mind. There's a Donuts. So what's the total count here? Two to five. Alt account, Salty doing much better. The only significant difference other than the hook size, which I'm not sure because most of them have been caught on the smaller, the bigger hook anyway. The only significant difference was um, a leader size, which I talked about earlier. So maybe next time we do this, we actually look at changing the leader on this account. 
the main account. Uh-oh. Probably a burbot or really big eyed. I think we're okay with that popping off either way. Now let's don't recast. All right, let's just do this. All right, so we have one rough order, easy white bream order, that bleak order will be nice on the alt account. All right, so. Not sure I'm going to keep them in. The only thing I want to do really quick is just see. I can't remember which. Okay, so no river mussels over here. What about zebra? Okay. And then other than that, we will sell fish. So 144 silver. We had two trophies though. Those really add up. 144 silver. And let's go spend that silver on more red worms. All right. There we have it. So now let's deal with the main, I mean, the uh, alt account only. Let's just go briefly see how Bleak are doing. Because we're up to 826. This should put us at about 900. Bottom fishing is at 46.3. All right, so that's four.
18 31 131 all right but we're gonna go through this and let's just see if we can get a random roach while we're doing this and get that roach order done it doesn't have to be big In fact, it can be small. Let's see if the bleak are still doing it. So 46.3, we are at 14.2 on float. I guess that's how much of a bleak spot it is. We're even getting bleak on the feeder rod.
First time we caught a gibble on float, apparently. Such a good way to level float. Wow, it's kind of amazing. All right, let's go see. I don't remember what the cafe order was. It's always nice when there's like two cafe orders, but either way, it's, it's good to level up float fishing a little bit. The few marker bleak we got, even if we didn't get the cafe order, they're already always worth decent silver. So it'll add to our total. Um, even though it's a size 20 hook, because the prize we didn't catch one worm on that on those maggots. I guess the bleak and sleeper bite was just so strong in that spot. How much is the roach worth? Oh, it's not worth it. I'm not worried about it. All right, so this was five from 29 for 20 more silver so very nice we got a ton of oh wait yeah we got a ton of orders done and on top of that made 119 more silver look at those bleak at the top after the dawn it's rough they definitely add up it's pretty crazy so that puts us at what nine 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 on silver is the caliber hsv even in stock here i always forget the exact amount that it cost all right 
it is out of stock. Probably out of stock at Mosquito too, but let's just double check. I'm not going to travel anywhere else just to see this, but uh, actually I think I have it. I have um, all right. Color HSV. This has got the cost at twenty eight hundred. Does that sound right? out of stock here as well um, yeah anyway it says according to this it says 2800 but either way we are um, we're making our way remember we still have one Norway trip left in us um, the main thing we still got to do though is level up bottom fishing. I mean, we just really kind of need to keep doing what we're doing, finding these spots like the Donnett's rough spot or bream spots, if we can find some good ones and, um, keep grinding. All right. As always, thanks for watching folks. I will see you next time. Tight lines, everybody.